Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the synthesis of synchronous sequential circuits. So before going to the design of sequential machines like finite state machines, one should be very familiar with the design and how to synthesize the synchronous sequential circuits. We know the flip-flops are acting as clocked flip-flops acting as memory elements for any sequential circuit. Okay, suppose if you are saying 4-bit circuit or 3-bit circuit, then that many flip-flops you need to use. N-bit circuit consisting of N number of flip-flops to store each bit as one flip-flop. Okay, so synchronous sequential circuits, another thing is all the flip-flops are having a common clock pulse. All flip-flops are having common clock pulse to change the state. So, in order to synchronize, in order to uh, synthesis, there are two different models available for the sequential circuits. One is Moore, another one is Mealy. So, Moore and Mealy circuits are two different models used to synthesize any synchronous sequential circuits. The synchronous or clocked sequential circuits sequential circuits are represented by are represented by two models represented by two models the first one is Moore circuit this is one type of representation Moore and the second one is Mealy circuit Mealy circuit these are the two famous models used to represent any sequential circuit. One is Moore, another one is Mealy. Moore is nothing but in this model, the output depends only on the present state of the flip-flops. Okay, it doesn't depend upon the inputs. Moore circuit completely depends upon the present state of the inputs. Present state. What is this present state of the um, flip-flop? Depending upon that, the output will be decided. Whereas Mealy circuit is completely depend upon the present state and as well as the present inputs. Okay, so if you define this Moore circuit in this model, in this model, the output depends, the output depends only on the only on the present state of the flip-flops present state of the flip-flops present state of the flip-flops and the second one is mealy circuit in mealy model so in this model the output depends on present state of the flip-flop output depends on present state of the flip-flop and the input and the input input if it is one input one input otherwise if two or more inputs are there, so all those inputs are having responsibility to produce the output. Okay, so Moore means it depends only on the present state of the flip-flop and Miele means it completely depends on the present state and as well as the present input of the present input or inputs of the flip-flops. Okay, let us see the important diagram that is known as the state diagram of this Moore and as well as Miele. So first state diagram state diagram what do you mean by state diagram state diagram is completely explaining about the status of the flip-flops okay flip-flop suppose if it is a two bit sequential circuit two flip-flops are there 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 those are the four available status those states are changing keep on changing from one state to another state depending upon the 
input depending upon the input as well as output will also be produced suppose for example if you take a mele circuit if you take a mele circuit Oh, sorry, melee circuit M E A L Y melee circuit. So in this, the state diagram A. Let us consider four states. As I said, the two bit flip flops, two bit sequential circuit will give you four different states: zero zero and zero one. Here I am just naming the state as. A nothing but zero zero B as zero one and C one zero third state and the last state D one one. Okay, here we are assuming a condition that if the input is zero, output is zero and it is in the same state. Okay, the meaning of this representation is if input is equal to zero here the Uh, representation of this particular uh, uh, condition is this one is input by output input by output input by output input is here zero and uh, at that time output is equal to zero and the arrow represents the direction of the movement of the state arrow represents the direction of the movement of the state so when input is equal to zero it is in the same state and gives you oh, gives you the output as zero this is the meaning of this one and when input is equal to 1 when input is equal to 1 output equal to 0 and the state will be changed to 0 0 to 0 1 that state is changing from 0 0 to 0 1 okay that happen the uh, that means the state change occurs when input is equal to 1 the state change occurs when input is equal to 1 In both the cases, when input equal to zero and input equal to one, for A state, output is simply zero. Okay. Coming to B state, for B state, if input is equal to zero, here also it is in the same state. So zero by one. Zero by one means zero is the input and one is the output. So when input equal to zero, output equal to one, as well as it is in the same state. And when input when input is equal to one. when input is equal to 1 output equal to 0 at the same time the state will be moving from 0 1 to 1 0 that means b to c again here when input is equal to 1 output is equal to 1 and the state will be in the same state c if you see if you take c function then at the state of c when input is equal to 1 output is 1 and it is at the same state when input is equal to 0 it moves to the 1 1 state and gives you the output as 0 and again at d when input is equal to 0 output equal to 0 and it is in the same state and when input is equal to 1 output is equal to 1 and the output state will move from 1 1 to Zero zero. So this is a cyclic process. It is a sequential circuit which acts as a cyclic process, changing from zero zero to zero one one zero one one, and again comes back to the zero zero. That depends upon the input. Okay. So in Miller circuit, as I mentioned in this model, the output depends on the the output depends on present state of the flip flops and as well as present inputs. So if you see the state table state table of this miller circuit state table of miller state table of miller circuit so present state and next state next state changes based on the input x if input x is equal to 0 and input x equal to y okay so now take a what is happening at a see a changes 
to b when input equal to 1 and when input is equal to 0 it is in the same state so when input is equal to 0 it is in the same state and at that time output is equal to 0 here the output is output is depending on both state and as well as input output y output y suppose if it is y output y depends on both present state and as well as present applica present applied input and coming to again when input is equal to 1 output equal to 0 and it goes to b it goes to b and output is equal to 1 or 0 0 output is 0 and again next state is b c and d so coming to b when input equal to 0 it is in the same state on output equal to 1 so b comma 1 and when input equal to 1 output equal to 0 it goes to c so c comma 0 c when input equal to 0 it goes to d and output equal to 0 so d output equal to 0 and 1 means it is in the same state output equal to 1 d uh, sorry c it is in the same state and output is equal to 1 and coming to d d remains in the same state when input equal to 0 output equal to 0 so remains in the same state when input equal to 0 and d goes to the next state when input equal to 1 output equal to 1 so a when input equal output is equal to 1 this is what the state table state table can be drawn from the state diagram and as well as state diagram can be drawn from the state table vice versa okay we should have one of these two one of these two so state table if we have then state diagram we can draw state diagram if you have then we can draw the state table okay one is dependent on other so if you observe the Miele circuit Miele circuit depends on the present input and as well as present uh, stat, present state of the flip flop and as well as present input here also present input and present state but coming to the Moore in Moore circuit in Moore circuit the output depends on only the present state of the flip flops so consider the state diagram state diagram state diagram so we are taking a and here the output is 0 see the representation is somewhat different representation is somewhat different it is completely depending on only present state present state of the flip flop not on the input present state of the flip flop not on the input more it depends on present state only more it depends on present state only that's why for every state present state every state you are having the output okay so when input is equal to 0 it is in the same state when input equal to 1 it goes to the next state and gives you for b it is output is equal to 0 here and when we are at b if input equal to 0 it is in the same state if input is equal to 1 it goes to the next state C okay and output is 1 see for whatever the input is x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 for A state output is 0 common okay output is not depending on the input output is not depending on the input the output is fixed for both the states here also when you are saying about the state B the output is 0 okay it is not depending on the inputs it is not depending on the input if input equal to 0 output is like this if input equal to 1 output is like this I am not saying like that okay irrespective of the output if, if it is the state B then output equal to 0 if it is that the state C then output is equal to 1 and similarly if it is at the state D output is equal to 0 so depending on the state the output is determined that's why it is 
more circuit more is more circuit depends only on the present state of the flip flop not on the input so if the input is 1 then it is in the same state if the input is equal to 0 it goes to the next state again for c if input is equal to 1 it is in the same state if input equal to 0 it goes to the next state okay so using this we can easily draw the state table state table of this more circuit so we can draw present state next state input x and x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 output So, present state A, B, C, D. So, now in the present state A, what is the output? Output is fixed A equal to 0. And for B, 0, C, 1, B, 0. 0, 1, 0. So, 0, 1, 0. Irrespective of inputs, we can directly say. But whereas in the previous case, if input is equal to 0, output equal to 0, input equal to 1, output equal to 0. See here, in the second case, input equal to 0, output equal to 1. Input equal to 1, output equal to 0. Both the uh, states and as well as inputs are having influence on the result. And now here an x is equal to 0. x equal to input equal to 0. It is in the same state. It goes to the next state when x equal to 1. And again 0, 1. So b, c. And coming to this one, opposite case. When it is 0, it goes to the next state and it is in the same state if it is 1. Okay. Again it is also 0 it goes to the next state and it is in the same state when it is 0 and it is 1 okay so this is what the state diagram and state table of the melee and more circuits okay in the next video i will explain how to simplify the state tables for the melee and as well as more circuits thank you